I wanted to put together a real quick mini review since I've had this CEM 40 out in the field now for several nights. And I've had it mostly doing narrowband imaging in my backyard. And this is uh, probably the first trip to a dark sky location that I've had with it. So this was my intent to use this for the astrophysics stowaway with the SG4 guider on the Botter guide scope in the Canon R8. So here's what I like so far. The mount handles the workload beautifully. We even had a wind last night and the mount was doing very nicely with it, but it was a 20 mile an hour gust and it was just knocking, heck it was knocking me around. So we didn't get much done. We got a, we got one project, I think, completed. So the mount tracks beautifully. It's auto-guiding beautifully with this SG4. Here are a couple of nitpicks. This bolt system that locks down the base with the Allen wrench, that could definitely be improved. It stores in these holes here. Of course, you have one on each side. So it stores here in transportation. But it's fiddly. It really should be... If it's possible to do a thumb screw, I'm going to look at some options. Maybe Anthony Davoli has something on that. Uh, once you get the hand controller, you get familiar with the menu on the hand controller. Setting the zero position, that's kind of a new concept for me coming from astrophysics. But the go-to works beautifully. I just sync on a bright star and then go to my deep sky object for the night. And it works uh, beautifully. That auto guides very nicely. Other than that, uh, I think I mentioned that I did convert. Remember, I converted this to the visual, back, the visual polar scope. And while I can, it seems to work. What I'm doing, I can tell you, it is compromised because when you take the eye, the eye polar out, there is a set of wires that connects to this declination electronics here. And those wires will split Polaris. It makes it two lobes, so you don't have a pinpoint. It's pretty challenging. I use my red light. I don't use the polar scope light to uh, illuminate the reticle. It's not light adjustable. So that's a little bit of a nitpick on the, uh, I, the, on the visual polar scope with the provided um, red light illuminator. But very happy with the CEM40 and uh, looking forward to a good night tonight.